maybe you're considering purchasing Sonic Air fans, or maybe you already have them in your facility. If so, then you might be asking yourself, what are some common issues or problems that exist with Sonic Air fans? If that's a question you've got, then I'm glad you're here. I'm Jordan with Sonic Air, and this is You Ask, We Answer. If you find the following information helpful, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and ring the bell below if you'd like to get notified when we post new content. Oh, and follow us on LinkedIn for more helpful information on how to keep dust at bay in your facility. So if you're familiar with our fans, probably up to this point, you've heard all the good stuff. You know how our fans can eliminate the need for overhead manual cleaning. We can automate that process. You're probably already familiar with our compliance guarantee that we offer but you're probably wondering what are the problems I can expect and some of the common issues that come along with Sonicare fans. So today we are addressing the top five concerns and issues that our service department has responded to in our almost 20 years of business. So let's jump right in with number one, incorrect sway brace and safety cable installation. Sway braces, they have to be installed in a 90 degree orientation to one another. If not, if they're installed 180 degrees opposite each other, the fan can still rock and move back and forth in one direction. We don't want that to happen, so make sure those sway braces are installed 90 degrees to each other. The other piece of that is safety cables. No matter what type of mounting bracket you have from Sonic Air, the safety cables have to be installed in a taut manner so that they're tight, because no one likes a saggy safety cable. If those safety cables droop too low, they will hang up on the fan as it's going through its rotation process and it can cause a mechanical failure of some sort. We don't want that to happen, so make sure those safety cables are taut. Okay, number two, improper installation setup. The iDrive system allows you to control your fan's vertical oscillation range, how far up and down you'd like the fan to blow. Well, the fans are shipped from our factory with the connecting link only partially connected, so you'll have to do the final setup in the field. Close attention must be paid to the discharge direction notices inside the iDrive door, as connecting the shroud backwards will lead to improper fan operation and may even damage some of the fan's components. Just a side note, if you use our certified installers or go with our commissioning services, we'll take care of that for you and make sure that those issues don't exist. Number three, blowing on processes that you don't wanna blow on. So as I mentioned, the fan up and down movement's completely adjustable. And often if the fan doesn't get set up correctly, it can end up blowing down, sweeping up the dust on the floor and stirring that up or blowing on a delicate process that you don't want to disturb. So for more information on adjusting where the fan blows, check out our video on oscillation. There's a link below in the description. All right, and now we're talking about improper cleaning and maintenance. So while the fans are great at cleaning everything around them, dust can still build up on the fan itself, especially if you have a really sticky dust or if you have a fan guard kit installed. In a worst case scenario, enough of that sticky dust can build up on the shroud that it locks up the fan blade, and that can lead to a damaged fan motor or broken fan blades. We'd advise you to clean your fan every six months or so and look for that dust buildup and ensure that you get the maximum performance from your fans. Number five is inconsistent fan operation. So occasionally we will go into a facility and we are told, hey, there's a problem with my fan, it's not working and it's turned off at a disconnect switch somewhere. So make sure your team is in the loop and aware of the purpose and the operational capabilities of the fans to make sure they're working continuously. Our fans are designed to operate continuously throughout your dust generating processes. They are not designed to be blowdown fans. So if you turn your fans off for a period of time and turn them back on and can see dust blowing, that's not a good thing. You need to be running your fans more frequently and continuously when your process is generating dust. So if you have a Sonic Air fan that you haven't checked on in a while or it's not running like you'd like it to, reach out to us at our website, sonicair.com or email our service department directly at partsandservice at sonicair.com for any questions or concerns you might have. That's it for today. Those are the top five problems and issues that we see from our service department here at Sonic Air. So we wanna hear from you, the good, the bad, the ugly. If you've got some feedback for us, leave it in the comments below. 
Follow us on LinkedIn, leave us some feedback there. If you've got ideas or questions that we can answer, we're happy to do that. Thanks for watching. So maybe you're considering purchasing a, condus a combustible bus fan. Smile, smiling for the camera. I'm Jordan with Sonic Air and I just got a new hat.